Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Gorgon, is a giant walking cover that gives people eye cancer if they try to stare at it, Gorgon, also does not play fair compared to other frames, because with gaze, no matter what the enemy do in their turn, it's also the Gorgon's turn to bring them pain, twice, and then there's this, which is bullshit. Every single time someone attack the Gorgon, there's a 10% chance that they just get stunned, which is the strongest status effect in the game, it's complete bullshit, which also means that Gorgon is a very survivable frame just by the fact that nobody dares to shoot at you, having a massive boss sized health bar is also a good idea, and guess what, the entire license Gorgon has is made for this exact scenario. In the following 40 Gorgon builds, there's a ridiculous amount of Vorpal gun, because it deals very funny amount of damage on reaction, Scylla, because more reaction fire, Scorpion, which work against tech attack and action in any way possible, and finally, Mimic Mesh, to get somewhere fast at the speed of your ally getting their shit kicked in. As for the role, well, obviously Gorgon would be a defender by default simply because of its traits, however, due to its somewhat short sensor range and its very own nature, a lot of its builds are focused around getting close to both allies and enemies, so, we're gonna talk about the defender striker first. Which winch winched which which is probably the most normal defender striker Gorgon build I could find, which is saying something, you might notice that this build has double vorpal guns, and guess what, because of gaze, Gorgon could actually pull out both in the same reaction fire to immediately deal super heavy level of damage to someone, that's not all, by using Scylla to fire Croil rifle, if your victim decides to run, you can immediately chase them down, possibly in the same turn, that's the beauty of Gorgon and its systems, by using all the reactions to bring more pain to the enemies, suddenly it feels like you can do more than you thought. Obviously, that's not the only Croil rifle Gorgon around either, this is Shoot to Thrill, which has an addition of flicker field so every time you boost thanks to Croil rifle, you are also turning invisible, making you even harder to be killed, and with walking armory, you can arc your Croil rifle shot, then use jump jet to boost jump over obstacle and drop kick someone. Personally speaking, I just find it very funny that people somehow figured out a synergy between Atlas and Gorgon, because as it turns out, thanks to Gaze, again, Gorgon can overwatch someone with Terashima Blade, then immediately triggers Jaeger Kus 2 to strike them even harder, which thanks to Kai Bioplating, you will most likely win. And of course, if you want to cut someone, you might as well get Duelist and Exemplar, both of which have reactions that can further boost Gorgon's capability in close quarter combat, and if you aren't fighting someone, held image to throw out free lock on is a nice option too. Is it a bird, is it a plane, oh no, is another half atlas gorgon except worse, because this one can fly, and guess what, it also has stasis bolt, which it can use to cause an attack to miss, which directly benefits lord stance terashima to knock your opponent down and ace one to move, which also benefit jaeger kus too because ace one also provides a bonus to agility roll. This build also uses monitor module instead of Scylla, which to be honest, monitor module is basically just a worse Scylla, however, you can get it for 2 SP, less investment in Gorgon license, and is also not an NHP, so there's quite a few circumstances in which monitor is actually the better choice. Let's talk about something else, this is anti-synergy, a Fomorian Gorgon that actually wants to choke someone, as a reminder, for most frame that isn't named Blackbeard, if you grapple someone, you can't use reaction. This Gorgon instead rely more on metastatic paralysis for protection, and primarily, this build is just here to annoy the hell out of people, by using monitor module to spam Nexus to crit fish for senti main effect, then spam grapple with dualist combo or manually so you can use total strength suit 3 or brawler 3 to stun everything, which with open door for an incredible 17 save target, the chance of your victim being unable to move is high. Big Boar Medusa is a half Tortuga Gorgon, this one is a lot less brain twisting, you just use Mimic Mesh to get to your allies, use your sheer Fomorian bulk to protect them, then just activate HDA to become a goddamn brick, with Scylla, Vanguard Overwatch, Gunslinger 2, plus Vorpal to shoot anything that comes your way. Mama Bear is instead a half Drake Gorgon, since you usually don't need to move much after moving close to your allies, an assault cannon works surprisingly well, and using Scylla for double concussion shots works well in sending enemies away and impaired, 
and since Gorgon doesn't like to grapple people, you can instead use Cable Winch to pull people with you or let your allies pull you instead. Jabberwock Hunter is a Sisyphus Gorgon, which thanks to metastatic paralysis, gets a lot more funny, if you get a 1 or 2, the next 2 NPC that try to shoot at you are most definitely stunned, or you can get a 20, which with Brutal and OP Cal, lets the Vorpal Gun deal 18 goddamn damage. Plus, this whole build is designed to be lazy, you have Auto Gun, Vorpal Gun, even the dual pistol could basically be left untouched since you can overwatch with it easily, and if you need to see something, you have Eye of Horus for it. I hate you, I want you dead, please step into my dome is a half Saladin Noah Gorgon, because Noah is good at protecting your allies, and it's also a reaction, this build is built for both mid and short range, as Light Nexus and Thermal Rifle could poke and annoy enemies at a distance, and when the enemies get close, you activate Hard Light Defense System and just beat the shit out of them, you also have Flash Anchor and Scorpion to provide additional protection to you allies. Finally, there's Inkij's long lost twin sister, whose primary weapon is the torch, because half of 3 burn is still 2 burn, and with Horo S1, you can force enemy to move and cut them with an overwatch, which with TTT, that cut is gonna hurt, you also have Vorpal Gun and Sentinel Drone to punish anyone that dare to shoot at your allies, plus, Siege Spec to knock enemies out of cover, since as it turns out, Vorpal Gun is a cannon. And that's all on the Defender Striker Gorgon, probably the most dangerous Gorgon around since they can really bring the pain to anyone nearby that even dare to think about hurting their allies, and at this point, you probably figured out why Gorgon doesn't have heavy mount already, because 1, that's a lot of damage, and 2, heavy gunner gets real bullshit with gaze. But, Gorgon is still a Horus frame after all, so let's talk about the defender controller builds. All roads lead to pain is a full auto gun Gorgon with all the actions to do anything besides attacking, it can pop Sisyphus which works with universal comp to possibly activating core power twice, or just invade enemies to move or jam them, or just throw turret drones everywhere, which because of gaze, could add 6 full damage to any successful ally attack. Leader and Exemplar 1 are also good reaction talents for Gorgon, both basically increase the accuracy of your ally's attack. Next is Don't Touch My Baby, a half black witch Gorgon that protect its baby with black ice or magnetic shield, protecting them from tech and physical attack, it can also just shoot incoming threats with dual vorpal guns or monitor module nexus spam with senti main, or flick them away with ferris lash, this build also has neurolink, so these vorpal guns are going to be a lot more dangerous than normal. Interdimensional soccer mom is exactly what it said, anytime someone shot and hit it, this Gorgon can teleport with Singularity Motivator and shoot someone in the back with Gunslinger 2, which with free lock-on from Held Image, possibly knock them prone with Stormbringer, the Vigilia rocket spam is gonna be crazy with Monitor and Vanguard Pistol, and thanks to Hunter Logic, it can easily keep Melee Striker away, plus it has Reactive Weave so even when it brace, it will always move. A pretty basic Gorgon with a Neuro Spike Garnish is a Gorgon that surprisingly doesn't have a gimmick, it has Scorpion, Mimic Mesh, Monitor, Sentinel Drone, the usual Gorgon tools to disencourage enemy from attacking, but it also has Flicker Field to turn invisible every time it moves, and Neuro Spike to further convince the enemy to not fire. With Exemplar, any enemy that gets too close will be trapped and must face the Gorgon, and with Held Image and Spotter, your allies will never miss their shots, plus, Burst Launcher Spam with Monitor is going to cook and impair a lot of enemies in a round. Approaching me, mistake is a half blad Gorgon because Impaler gets very funny with Scylla, and having charged stake plus web jaw to make sure nobody can move is a very good solution to a lot of things, I would honestly try to shove in monitor in here too just so even more people could get immobilized in a single round. The Cerberus is a drone commander Gorgon, because as it turns out, assassin drone needs reaction, and with two of them, you can really convince an enemy to get the hell out, Autopod is also a really good option for Gorgon, since it's basically free damage with held image. Not only that, it combo with Spotter to increase your allies accuracy, and Stormbringer to knock the crap out of enemies, plus, with Tempest, you never need to worry about enemy getting too close for comfort. Only Us is a Gorgon that tries to isolate its opponent as much as possible, using Horo S2 for false idol with 15 save target or exemplar to challenge them, and if that doesn't work, it has flash and smoke charges to hopefully block line of sight. Finally, there's care package incoming, a flying Gorgon that wants to always arrive on the scene with Ace 3 for Supersonic, and funny enough, while Flight System can cook you up quite badly if you use it repeatedly, it also only apply the heat if you fly in your turn, so if you fly with Mimic Mesh or use Skirmisher with Overwatch, you can fly and don't get cooked. With this build, 
you just land next to your allies with supersonic, then send someone flying away with juggernaut, possibly saving your ally from danger. And that's all on the defender controller Gorgons, truth to be told, you might notice that there's quite a lot of overlap between the controller and striker builds, that's because Gorgon really likes to take actions up close, whether you want to do striker stuff or not, builds with controller tag just means that they are more focused on controlling the enemies than destroying them, sorta. Now, let's move on to the defender support builds, and you might have guessed it, there's a lot of battle taxi Gorgon, this is mama bear is angry, and it's very simple, you just carry someone on your back, and protect them with your life by punching the shit out of anything that gets close, withheld image for some free lock on. There's also clingy life partner, a full bonded battle taxi Gorgon that honestly doesn't really do anything special, it's just very good at its job, helping and protecting its rider. Big Brother is yet another Fomorian battle taxi Gorgon, this time with Argonaut shield to actually protect its rider physically, and also comes with two Vorpal guns, if you ever get stuck on how to build your Gorgon, just shove as much Vorpal guns in it as possible, it will work. And here's Helicopter Parent, a battle taxi Gorgon that can really move thanks to Silicroil rifle for all the free boost, allowing anyone riding on it get close to the enemy really fast, would have prefer Fomorian instead of TTT though. Anyway that's enough battle taxi, let's go with something else like Aegis, a Didymo Scylla Gorgon that can shoot a lot and split the timeline for its allies for better mobility, the weapon selection might need an adjustment though, it's all over the place. You are not immune is basically another half black witch Gorgon, this time with Ferris Slash and PCP to move everything, and Ice out to completely shut down hostile tech attacker, plus, Neuralink Vorpal guns are always nice to have, the same could be said for the big charged sword. Next there's open the door, get on the floor, a technically battle taxi Gorgon that does it differently with blink space tunnel instead, with final secret and accelerate to move it and its allies really fast, and warp rifle to send someone half a map away. Finally, there's Yandere simulator, don't worry this build is actually complete. It's a Noacilla Gorgon that can protect its allies in any way possible, Shatterhead is also a good choice to be used with Scylla since it can hit basically anywhere in range 15 decently. And that's all on the defender support Gorgon, that once again, works surprisingly well because of Gorgon's general proximity with its allies, that and supporting is just defending in a slightly different way. Now, that's all 40 Gorgon builds finished, once again, I would like to thank all of the submitters that have sent in their builds for this episode, I was always slightly confused on how to build a Gorgon, but, now I know what to do, turns out all you need to do is shove in Vorpal guns. Now, let's introduce the topic for the next episode, this is not going to break my mind or anything, anyway that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.